Hello, welcome. I'm Dr. Malescu, and I am going to narrate this first PowerPoint for week one, week of August 24th for Anatomy and Physiology 1. So let's get started. So the science of anatomy and physiology. Let's begin. This is quite a very simple um, recording. I am just going to narrate uh, basically what is on these PowerPoints, um, just so that you have an idea of what we will be doing uh, when, we are, when we are in a virtual classroom. Let me move this camera over. There we go. All right, so anatomy is the study in, uh, of the form and function of the body, um, the structure and the form of the body. The physiology is more about understanding the inner workings of it. So um, the two have to be together because first you understand and look at the structure of the body, um, identify it, name it, see the form. But physiology is basically the actual function um, of that structure. And the two are basically like yin and yang. They cannot be separated. So that's why when you're taking this course, you'll see that we never just say anatomy. It's anatomy and physiology because that's truly what it is. All right, so let's keep going. Um, we start out, uh, especially at the beginning of this course, and you'll be wondering, well, this is really not anatomy. You will be starting out as um, microscopic level and then working your way up to the gross anatomy, which is what, what we can see with our eyes. So gross means physically with our naked eye. Uh, microscopic anatomy cannot be seen with our naked eye and so we need special instrumentation such as microscopic anatomy which will reveal exactly what's going on on the inside structure for example in this case we're looking at muscle skeletal muscle because it's striated all right and you're gonna you're gonna learn about this the difference between skeletal muscle and smooth muscle all right, so gross anatomy um, investigates the structure that is visible to the unaided eye. And um, when we do dissection, we will still get to see all those structures and identify them with our naked eye. When we get to the physiology of it, we go down to the microscopic molecular level. Okay, so the cellular level is the... Um, deepest and then right below that is the molecular level. So the way it works is you start out at the chemical level, the atom, the electrons, and then we have um, more than one atom and then we have uh, molecules where there's a bunch of atoms together interacting with different kinds of bonds, whether it's a chemical bond. Um, and uh, For example, there's electrolytes and then there's um, uh, different kinds of bonds that we're going to go over when we do chemistry. So at the molecular level, we go and expand further than that into the cellular level and the inner workings of a cell. And inside the cell are organelles, which we will be doing cell biology the next week. So um, be, basically, if you look at the cell, it's just a just like the human body, it has different organelles and all of those organelles have specific functions to maintain the health and function of that cell. Then a bunch of cells together, which we will be going over, I believe, week three or week four, a bunch of cells together are considered tissue. And so we will be reviewing all the different types of tissue in the body. And so tissue uh, come together and form an organ. And organs come together to form organ systems. And organ systems come together to form the organism, meaning the human being or whatever animal that you're examining. That's basically where we're at. We go, it's like a layer upon a layer upon a layer, a universe within a universe within a universe. That is the design of the universe because if we look uh, beyond ourselves and we look at a population, right? So we start with a small family and then groups of families are like a tribe, right? And then um, groups of families can be a community as well in this day and age, right? And then beyond the community, a city and beyond the city, a state beyond the state a country and beyond a country, a continent and beyond the continent, the earth and beyond the earth, the planets and beyond the planets, the universe. And of course, there's other uh, galaxies within the universe. So it's just a never ending, I would say, um, infinity of um, design 
of, of design that is amazing and that's what we are studying we are doing um, the study of design and it's all based on theory but also logical theory that is based on our critical thinking skills and what we see with our naked eye what we see with the microscope and how the functions relate to the human being in maintaining homeostasis and that's the coin term of the day especially in this uh, particular week this first week of anatomy and physiology homeostasis is maintaining balance and as long as you maintain balance within the molecular level the cellular level the tissue level the organ system level and the organism level you have health as soon as you lose the balance of homeostasis you uh, start to have disease okay so let's keep going uh, this is only a 15 minute presentation that I am um, narrating here so I will by all means not go through all the slides um, that will be done in virtual classroom but I just wanted to introduce to you the concepts of what we will be talking um, with screencast-o-matic the um, online um, software that I'm using um, it only allows me to use 30 minutes so because I'm using the free version so hear me out it's a very precious 15 minutes so I'll keep going so um, what is the relationship between anatomy and physiology as I said the anatomy is the structure and function um, I'm sorry it's the structure and form and the physiology is the function and they're both intertwined as I said before okay that's a cartoon you could look at later I'm gonna keep going this is a PDF file that I will be uploading when we teach of course the internet is a bit slow and behind me as I scroll down okay so uh, form and function so form is anatomy function is physiology that's how you can remember this okay the two disciplines put together creates the field now you have this PowerPoint um, so you can go ahead and read on your own I'm not going to be narrating that because that's not the purpose of this PowerPoint uh, presentation the purpose of this presentation for you is to just be introduced to the concept of what the heck anatomy and physiology is okay so when we study anatomy we look at every single organ system and what it does in this case we're looking at the digestive system and so whenever you put food in your mouth eventually it goes all the way breaks down to the molecular level and at the molecular level our small intestine is our major source of absorption the small intestine absorbs all the nutrients that are needed for you to stay alive and healthy the large intestine is basically a poop machine so to speak because it literally just um, holds the fecal matter and moves it along until it comes out of the rectum um, also it is the main area of water absorption all right so I'll keep talking um, as I scroll down I will tell you what's on this PowerPoint I'm sorry I apologize why this is so slow um, and I only have a precious 15 minutes so I'll just keep going because this is annoying me you know what I'm going to open up the previous PowerPoint if this doesn't show up Oh, here it goes it's showing up I have the regular PowerPoint slide version and the PDF file so I'm not sure what is happening with my technology here I foresee this as an issue Okay, looks like I'll have to do this again. Hello, welcome. I'm Dr. Malescu, and I have 15 minutes to narrate 100 slides. So I'm going to just kind of skim through things. Um, the reason for doing the screen castomatic recording and narrating of this uh, PowerPoint is to at least introduce you to anatomy and physiology prior to us entering virtual classroom. So if you want to open this up, uh, prior to your uh, class 
on Monday. We start August 24th, 2020. Due to COVID-19, we will be online in Virtual Classroom under the Tools section, Dropbox, click on Virtual Classroom, and we will go over this PowerPoint at a much slower rate and in much more detail. This uh, presentation is more about just getting your feet wet and um, getting used to my uh, narration and teaching. Hopefully you can hear me well and um, I'm just trying to utilize technology as best I can to make it interactive and not make your PowerPoints boring so that I can keep you engaged and wanting to learn more about anatomy and physiology. So let's keep going. All right, why is this locked? Come on. There we go. Okay, so the science of anatomy and physiology. Basically, what we're looking at is that anatomy is all about form. Let me move my little thumbnail. And physiology examines how the body functions. Does that make sense? So um, when we look at the anatomy portion of this uh, course, we will be studying the gross anatomy as well as the microscopic anatomy. So gross anatomy is what you can see with the naked eye. Microscopic anatomy is exactly intuitive what it entails. It means that we have to look under a microscope, get the tissue slides of that particular organ and take a look at the tissue and see it at the microscopic level. Now even further from the tissue level we can go down to the cellular level and those are um, even more high-end uh, technology, the electron microscope could get all the way to the molecular level. So let's keep going. Okay, so structure and function are inseparable. Just wanted to let you know about that. In other words, you can't have one without the other, so you can't have anatomy without physiology. So we look at form and function. Anatomy is form, physiology is function. Now let me tell you, I'm giving you a heads up, when you start to get to a and 2 it's going to be more function and less form. But in anatomy 1 versus anatomy 2, you will have a lot of um, memorization to do, especially when it comes to understanding the form, uh, naming the form of the skeletal system and the muscular system and the nervous system. There's a lot of detail there. And then the beginning of anatomy one, which we will be engaging within uh, the next two to three weeks, that's all we will be doing is a microscopic anatomy where we start at the microscopic level and work our way up to the tissue level and then eventually work our way up to skin. We will be doing skin after skin. We will do, we will do the function of bone and then we will get to the gross anatomical level where we identify all the bones and all the bony landmarks and grooves and all of that and holes called foramen and that's a lot of memorization and that's where we stop that's where you have the midterm practical after that we will go over um, again the microscopic anatomy of the muscle which you can see here, this is a skeletal muscle, understanding the function so that the physiology will be explained to you how the muscle contracts. And then we go out into the gross anatomy of the muscle, naming the muscle. They will have Latin names. So if you come from a Latin-based language, if that is your secondary language, such as Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Romanian, or French, It'll help you because a lot of the names of the muscles uh, have everything to do with Latin. They're based on Latin um, names, okay? So um, that's pretty much just giving you a heads up of what will be occurring. So um, I have less than 15 minutes now, so I will try to go slow, but at the same time try to uh, move effectively within um, these slides, which you will... Um, have when we do virtual classroom and we will go into much more detail and of course you will have the opportunity to ask me questions. Um, 
in the beginning, the first week or two, you probably won't have many questions, but I guarantee next week you will have questions when we do even more on language of anatomy. Uh, the lecture portion, uh, not so much, but the lab is hands-on, and I encourage you to ask me lots and lots of questions. The questions can be posed verbally through um, turning on your speaker or through chat. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing. All right, so gross anatomy is visible because we don't need any special equipment. Uh, specimens are dissected. Uh, unfortunately, we...